Hey guys and welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be my spring perfume picks for 2022. And I'm going to have my top perfume picks 2021 linked down below because none of those perfumes carried over into this video and all of those perfumes are still top picks of mine. There are two that are no longer in my collection, one of them being Dolce & Gabbana's The Only One Intense. And in the video, I go on about how I go back and forth with that perfume. And then the other one that is no longer in that list is Oscar de la Renta's Bella Blanca because I have a new one that has replaced it, which I'm gonna go over in this video. I will also have my 2021 perfumes I'm looking forward to revisiting because that's kind of what this video is. These are perfumes that I picked up in 2021. So they're not tops yet, but they're heading that way. These are perfumes that I am enjoying and I'm looking forward to wearing. So if you guys have been watching my channel, you know that I am a more seasonal wearer. I tend to like certain perfumes around spring and summer and then other perfumes around fall and winter and then I go even further to categorize them. So these are more floral feminine scents and I don't know what it is about spring, but I just tend to gravitate towards more kind of your floral feminine fragrances. So we have 15 to go over, so let's go ahead and get into the video. So first up, we're gonna go over the scent that replaced my Oscar de la Renta Bella Blanca, and that is Lucky by Christian Dior. And this one, and Bella Blanca, they don't smell exactly the same, but they fall in the same scent family. They're a white floral, lily of the valley kind of scent. I would say Oscar de la Renta's is a little bit more fresh, modern, and a little bit kind of perfumey. That one went to my mom. This one smells a lot like that one, but this one's more blended. It's a little bit more realistic white florals, like a lot of the perfumes in this line the florals come off a little bit more realistic so this one does have kind of a slight indolic opening but it's very light and it goes away and then this develops into a clean white floral lily of the valley fresh scent not a lot going on but it is a little more old school this is one that dennis actually he doesn't hate he just says that it smells mature <laughs> it smells a little bit old school to him so it's not one of his favorites but he did actually buy this one for me because i wanted it because of the name and because i really enjoy lily of the valley perfumes and this one is very lily of the valley forward like if you don't like lily of the valley stay away from this one it's a very airy delicate dewy uh scent it kind of after an hour melts into your skin and it radiates off of it in a very fresh kind of clean way. I would say he's smelled it once it's dried down and he doesn't mention it. Like he doesn't ask what are you wearing? Whereas when I first spray it, he usually says it and it, it comes off two different ways. Like, ooh, what are you wearing? And what are you wearing? So again, that is Lucky by Christian Dior. Okay, another um, fragrance from the Christian Dior line is Gris Dior. This one is more rose. And this is, yeah, this one to me smells like it's rained. So think of a very red rose with the stem and it's rained. That's what this smells like to me. It's very earthy. There's oak moss in here. I've also mentioned that this reminds me of uh, a rainforest in Puerto Rico, just the smell that comes off the rocks when the waterfall is hitting the rocks, that kind of scent that comes off is reminiscent of this. But there is something very realistic, like a very realistic rose in here, but think of the entire rose, like a rose bush. <laughs> and then after it's rained, a very fresh after the rain kind of scent. Again, that is Gris Dior by Christian Dior. And then next we have Elixir by Raja Parfums. And this is another rose, but this to me is more like a pink rose. And this one's, again, like these other ones, I don't wanna sound like a broken record, but these are the scents that I gravitate towards in spring. This is another one that's kind of dewy and after the rain. But this one's more pink. This one also has a fruitiness to it. 
but it's not like your typical fruity floral like say Mon Petit or Miss Dior. This is more of an airy, very blended fruity floral. This is more florals and then you get a slight brightness from like the peach. I believe this has bergamot. I think this has raspberry, but I don't get like peach or raspberry. It's just a very blended light fruity floral kind of scent. And I do get the rose, but it's more of like a pink rose. It's very feminine and not as deep. Like when you think of a red rose, this is more light pink and feminine. And again, that is Elixir by Raja Parfums, and this is from their Essence line. Okay, another rose scent. And this I would say is another kind of pink rose scent. That is Pivoine Sujo from the Armani Privé collection. And look at that beautiful liquid inside it does leave like a very nice kind of light sheen to it oh, yeah. this is more of a fresh rose whereas the other ones to me are more realistic elixir greedy or and lucky they're more of your realistic floral scents this is more of a modern fresh kind of pink rose peony scent like maybe think of a bowl of freshly picked rose petals and like peony, that's what this is. Little dew drops on them. It's kind of a spa scent, a little shampoo-y, but very luxurious. There are other kind of shampoo-like scents that people say like smell like herbal essence. This is more of a luxurious kind of shampoo scent. It would fall in the same kind of vein as Lancome's Idol, but that one's a little bit more sharp, I would say. This one's a little bit lighter, more blended. I do get the peony in this one. Lancome's Idol's like more rose. And again, that is Pivoine Sujo from the Armani Privé collection. Okay, the next, another kind of airy, intimate scent. This is Kayali Musk 12. And if you've ever smelled clean by clean reserve but the classic clean this falls in that same kind of category but it has a sweetness to it i believe this one has vanilla and then um sandalwood so it does have like a creaminess but this doesn't get overly like sandalwood or or like woody in the base this is a very clean fresh musky scent but again it has a sweetness to it this is a very beautiful scent to kind of layer like i wear this when i want to smell clean and put together and i don't want to smell overly perfumey that's when i wear this or when i want to add that to my perfume i will actually wear this as a base like i wore this with lucky the other day and it kind of helped mellow out that lily of the valley and made this one smell like more clean and fresh. So this is a really good layering one as well as one when I just want to again not smell like perfume but I want to smell like put together and like I just got out of the shower and I'm just fresh and I'm wearing maybe like a white t-shirt and jeans. That's what this scent is. And again that is Kayali's Musk 12. Another Musk scent but now we are getting into like maybe the classy category. So maybe that's what I'll go into next. And that is Narciso Rodriguez Pudre. Now this one, I would say this whole entire line with the cubes is one that I would wear in spring. But I'm going to mention this one because while those I wear like pretty much year round, this is one that I tend to wear more in cooler months and because it's not as humid because this one has a sweetness to it can't remember what the notes are because i don't think they list vanilla but there's vanilla in the accords this is think of the signature narciso rodriguez musk that's what this is it's powdery it's sweet again um there's something clean about it but i do prefer this one in springtime because of that sweet note that's in here and it's classy, sophisticated, and very airy and light. And again, that is Narciso Rodriguez Pudre. So next we have Romance Parfums by Ralph Lauren. I used to wear the original Romance when I was, I think, like 21, 22. It was when I was going out with my friend a lot. I had just broke up with a boyfriend, got a new scent, made it my signature scent, and 
I would go out and that was the only scent I would wear. So this scent was like my scent for about a year. Not this one, the original. But this is to me the more strong, more refined version of the original. A little bit more grown up. This is kind of crisp, clean, floral. This is one of your more classy kind of signature scent perfumes. But there's nothing I can, this one's hard for me to describe because this to me is when perfume smelled like perfume. I don't know if that really makes sense, but it's musky, it's clean. What are the notes in this one? This has black currant blossom, violet leaves, pink pepper, may rose, jasmine, ylang ylang, musk, patchouli. And again, that is romance parfum. Another classy perfume is Givenchy's L'Entradit. But this is your classy tuberose white floral scent. And this is the Eau de Parfum. I would say if I put this in a category, it would be spring. And then the Eau de Toilette is one that I would I prefer more in summer because this one does have a sweetness to it. It's a little heavier. But this is one you can wear year round. This is a signature scent. This one has that kind of bubblegum opening, that bubblegum tuberose, but it leans a little bit more kind of grape to my nose and other people's nose. It's very tuberose forward, but there are other like white florals in here and then it dries down to kind of a woody base. But I do have all four and this one is definitely to me the spring version of the four that I have in the line. And again, that is L'Entradit by Givenchy. So next we'll go over Reckless. This is another one that I'm looking forward to wearing in spring. This is by Raja Parfums and this is from the Essence Like Elixir. But this is your sweet floral scent. This is more of your white florals. Everything in here is very blended. I believe there's orange in here. There's neroli. There's vanilla, coriander. This is a very well blended white floral sweet scent. The longer I have this, the stronger it gets and the vanilla is more prominent in this one. Very beautiful. And again, that is Reckless by Raja Parfums. And next we have Yves Saint Laurent's Livre de Eau de Toilette. And honestly, this one I'm probably gonna wear spring and summer, but I'm really looking forward to wearing this one again and kind of revisiting it because this one's a little bit more of a light, fresh floral scent. I do find the original to be a little bit more heavy, a little bit more intense, I would say, than this one. So this one probably will be more appropriate in summertime, but because of the floral notes that are in here that I pick up more, I am looking forward to wearing this one in springtime, especially now that we're going back into the office. This is nice and light and airy. The lavender in this one isn't as sharp or strong, so this one's a little bit more feminine, not overly feminine. To me, this is still kind of, you know, a bit of a boss lady scent, but it is softer than the original. Like if the lavender bothered you, you might like this one. I know there are a lot of people who just can't get on board with this scent, but I really enjoy the whole range of this. And again, that is Livre de Eau de Toilette by Yves Saint Laurent. Okay, and then next we have Clean Reserve Radiant Nectar. And this is your pear floral kind of musk scent. There's, I believe, I think it's tobacco blossom that gives it this smokiness. And then there's ambrette. So it has kind of a, ambrette is, comes off kind of musky to my nose, but the musk isn't like white clean musk or like a powdery musk. It's almost like a, like a spicy, smoky, incensey musk. I know that's a lot, but I've had already several perfumes with ambrette or musk mallow in it and they come off all the same. This one's a little bit more smoky than the other ones, I think because again, it has like, I believe it's tobacco blossom. And it got stronger and I prefer it when it dries down and that kind of dies out. And then it becomes kind of a floral musk with like a woody base very fresh 
you do get a sparkliness in the opening from the pear and again that is clean reserve radiant nectar okay and then next we have chloe nomad the eau de toilette and this is one that i said i believe last year that i would wear this one spring and summer and then the eau de parfum in fall and winter but if i had to put this in a season i think it would be spring yeah just because that maribel plum is getting heavier i wore this the other day and it was a lot stronger than when i first got it last year it was more fresh and the maribel was more in the background but it's very prominent to my nose i wore it the other day and that's why i decided to put it in this video because i wore it and it was a little heavy and i'm like ooh, this might be too much in summer not if i'm going to be indoors or if i'm going to be in the office but definitely if i'm going to run errands i think this might get cloying because the maribel plum did get stronger but there is something tart in this one as well that's coming from the lychee which is why i wanted it like to me i just love that note for summer it's very refreshing and just tart and it's still there and this one's still fresh but i do get the maribel more so this is one that i think i'm going to enjoy more in spring when it's not as humid and it's not as hot so again that is chloe nomad and this is the eau de toilette then next we have woody sage by dossier and this is an inspiration to joe malone's wood sage and sea salt i have a little travel of that one and i'm happy owning this usually when i love an original enough i'll get the more expensive one but this one does perform better than joe malone i love the bottle of this usually i i prefer the i know i'm petty <laughs> usually i prefer the original bottle but i actually like the bottle of this is very simple kind of like the joe malone bottles this one lasts a little bit longer but this has fig tree grapefruit marine notes and brett clary sage and amberwood so again it has that kind of musky something smoky about it but this is a very fresh kind of woody scent this is the beach but i've always said it reminds me of the beach maybe around spring or even maybe like around fall it's the beach when it's cooling down and no one's around so think of maybe beach on the hamptons and maybe you're walking to your neighbor's house and there's like driftwood because this does have a woodiness there is something kind of salty about this one if you like scents like by Rado's Ball de Freak. This doesn't smell like it, but it kind of falls in that same woody, fresh kind of category. Very clean scent. Not fresh like citrus, because you know there's different kinds of fresh. There's like shampooy fresh, there's uh, clean fresh, which is what this is, citrus fresh. This is more of your clean, woody kind of fresh scent very unisex and again that is woody sage by dossier okay and then for my last two categories these are florals but one is a freshy and one is a fruity so we'll go over my freshy first and that is atelier de ors nuda veritas i start to gravitate towards freshies in spring more so in summer i have this one and blanc polychrome but that one is summertime all the way that is a very citrus heavy scent this one is a white floral with supporting citrus notes this smells like a day on the yacht this smells like a very white dress this smells like the name would imply the naked truth this is a very clean white floral scent but don't think in Dalek, think clean, fresh, white floral. And then it's zesty. I wore this one for my 10 year anniversary with my husband and I had on this white dress and that's what this reminds me of. It's just a very clean white dress kind of scent. So again, that is Nuda Veritas by Atelier de Ors. All right, and then I needed a fruity floral because fruity floral is pretty much a scent profile. That's my favorite. It's one that I wear year round. But if I had to put, no, no, I, I won't say that. This one is, is a summertime, but I decided to put her in spring because I'm already wearing her. So that is Meliora by Parfum de Mali. This is your tropical 
fruity floral but don't think tropical like coconut or tropical like mangoes this is like your berries but like exotic berries to my nose kind of scent this one is green there's a cleanness to this one it's musky it's fresh and this one is more because i'm already i'm already wearing it like i'm really looking forward to wearing this one in the spring and i'm sure this is going to be in a top list at some point probably summer because it does give me kind of tropical vibes kind of vacationing to an expensive place but i wanted to include it in my spring picks because it's already warm here in florida spring is around the corner spring is going to be here in three weeks so i i wanted to include it because i'm already picking this scent up and again that is meliora by parfum de mali so those are my spring perfume picks for 2022 and again these aren't tops yet but they are strong loves I really enjoyed them when I hauled them, when I tested them, and I'm really looking forward to really wearing them this spring and letting you guys know where they fall next year. But let me know in the comments below what are some of your top spring picks. But that will do it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.